hello out there to all you VHS hunters and VHS collectors. I'm your host, Indiana Holmes. One of my collector friends texted me and all of a sudden needed to get rid of 75% of his collection. And the offer was given to me. Everything for free. Two full carloads worth. The total, 848 VHS tapes and one sweet, beautiful baby. We will not be going through every single tape. That would be insane. I have kept 67 of them for now, and we're going to go through those. So, without further ado, let's go. Deadly Prey. This is actually not an original. It's like a convention one, and this is a, a paper cutout inside, like a photocopy of the of the slip sleeve, and the tape inside is like recorded onto it. So it's not the real thing, but it's going to look pretty amazing back here on my shelf. Alice, Sweet Alice. I've never seen this movie, but I've heard good things about it, and I've always wanted to see it. Hatchet for a Honeymoon. I've seen this and I like it, but I don't have this cover. This cover is pretty cool. The back's a little plain, but the front's pretty badass. When a Stranger Calls, the first original one. I don't think I've ever seen this one. Halloween. Everyone knows this one, but this one's weird. It's orange, and then at the top, it says Premiere Overnight Rental, and... I don't know what's going on here, but I actually played this, and Halloween, the original one, is on it. So, if you know, well, let me know. Silver Bullet. This was the first R-rated movie that I ever saw, and I saw it when I was eight years old, and I had nightmares. Here's our first recorded off the TV, and it is the Shining TV series with all the commercials. That's going to be pretty awesome, because I've actually never seen the TV version of The Shining, what better way would there be to watch it? Jason Goes to Hell, or Friday the 13th Part 9? This is a pretty cool, obviously custom bootleg cover, and the tape inside I think is real. I can get it out of here. That looks pretty worn out and authentic, so not a cut, not a someone filming it in the theater. The Sender, never heard of that one, the cover is pretty creepy looking and it looks like a thriller. I'm ready. The Manitow. I've heard really cool things about this movie and I'm really looking forward to watching it. I'm actually really excited to watch this one. The Fury, CBS Fox, and I actually watched this last night and I liked it but there's some things that seemed basic that I couldn't really understand what was going on so maybe I'll have to just watch it again. Pinocchio and the Emperor of the Night. Hmm. Never seen this, one of my friends, you know who you are, loves some Pinocchio. I want to watch this, and I'm going to tell you all about it. Chained Heat, Linda Blair movie. Cover looks pretty cool. Akira, it's a good movie. Haven't seen it in a while. Mortal Kombat 2, Death Cage. Hmm, now we're talking. I like the cheesy fighting movies, I'm sure this is going to be right up my alley. Baptism of Blood, never heard of this one. The Land of Far Away. Looks kind of like maybe Never Ending Story ripoff or something, but I've never heard of this and I've never, never seen it. Eyes of Laura Mars. I heard that this was pretty good. I also got 10 Collector's Choice Video clear plastic cases that are really cool looking and have a pretty cool logo on them. Fortress. Never seen it, but it takes place in the distant year of 2017. Was this going on in 2017? This kind of stuff? Hmm. Starship, the adventure of a million lifetimes. We have another anime, Star Avengers, or a cartoon. Never heard of that one. Moonraker, pretty cool. CBS Fox, box art. I've seen this, I've seen all the Bonds up until some of the most recent ones, but I don't really remember this one too well. Catastrophe. This is not really a movie, it's like some kind of documentary with several really big events happening, like tornadoes, there's like a the Hindenburg and all kinds of, there's like an earthquake. I think it's like nine things you're gonna see. The Adventures of Baron Munchausen. And I like this movie. It's been a while though, and I remember having no idea what happened at the end, so I guess I'm gonna have to watch it again. A Town Called Hell. This looks right up my alley. It's got, what's his name? Robert Shaw in there. Hmm. That's my jaw that's my Jaws guy there. Time Bandits. This movie rules if you have not seen this. This one's sealed. I don't know if it's really 
sealed or if it's resealed, but cool. The Scalp Merchant. Hmm, pretty cool Paragon video. I've never seen it or heard of this one. Here is what looks like a Korean movie for all lonely nights. So like a superhero, is he the bad guy? I don't know what's going on here. Will this play in my American VCR? I guess so. Tape says 8-man, and there's an 8 on here, so I guess that's what he is. 8-man. Eight, eight the Philadelphia Experiment, and it's pretty cool. I don't know if it's a real cut box or what it is. I think it's a cut box for like a rental. But it's the Thorn EMI video. I like this cover, and I've never seen this old one. I don't think. No, I don't think I've seen this. Okay, if you're still with me, cool. We still got a lot left to go. Here's two pretty old school ones here. Here's the Pink Panther. This is from Magnetic Video, which I believe is the first, the first VHS production company that actually made VHS tapes. I think that's right. I only have like one or two other ones of these that I've ever found. Here's one from my shelf from Magnetic Video, White Lightning with Burt Reynolds. See down there, Magnetic Video. It's really old, it's from the early 80s. 1981. And here's another Magnetic Video, A Shot in the Dark. Whatever this movie's about, this is also from 1981. Private Resort, never have seen this one. Renegade Force. The Case of Mr. Quick Fingers. Some kind of children's video or something. The Bloodhound Gang. It's like 30 minutes. It's got a couple... Maybe it's three different 30-minute episodes or something. I don't know what that is. And this one... is a blank tape. Usually these are my favorite. Speed Zone. This is a movie I remember from the video store. I've never rented it. I have another Speed Zone up here. On my shelf that I found at an estate sale a couple years ago. And I only have it up there for nostalgia. The movie, the movie's not good at all. Next one, nothing crazy. It's another blank tape. Poltergeist. I haven't seen this in a while, so I'm going to watch it on good old VHS. And one day, Orion Moses, that's me, kind of, on the other side. I'm going to find this exact Poltergeist Sony CRT. And we're going to beat Battletoads on it. And maybe something else. For Eternity Vacation, I've never heard of this one or ever seen it, but the cover is pretty crazy. The Lawnmower Man, I remember the trailers for this when it was coming out, but I've never seen it. And there's a sequel too that I've heard about, but I've never seen that one either. This one is stuff taped off the TV. We have Scanners 2, Tales from the Crypt from HBO. Looking forward to that as always. And Field of Fire, I don't know what that is. Less Than Zero. Apparently it's worth seeing. That's what it says on the thing. It says beta on the side down here, but it's not a beta tape in there. It's the it's a VHS, so Okay, if you're still there, thanks. We got 25 left. Moon 44. Obviously dealing with the moon, some movie. I've seen the movie that's called Moon. And I liked it, but I've never heard of Moon 44. And continuing the trend, we have Moon Trap. I'm gonna have to watch both of these Moon movies in one night to get some Ultimate Moon experience or something. The Monolith Monster? Or Monsters? It's some uh, older movie, black and white. Battle Athletics Victory. Some obviously anime tape. Ravines, Cliffs, Minefields? Okay. Cat O Nine Tales. It's like a mystery type of movie from this weird distributor. Bingo Video. Never heard of that one. Never heard of this movie. The War of the Worlds. I used to like this older version of this when I was younger and would watch it all the time. I liked that. The Ralph Stanley Story. And it's actually signed. Looks like it by Ralph Stanley. That's pretty cool. I actually can play banjo. That's a fact that hasn't been revealed yet on the channel, but I haven't really been practicing much the last 20 years. But I can still do it, and I'm going to probably play some for the channel at some point. Zenith Video Operating Guide. I watched this, and it's helping you trying to set up your VCR and get it to program and all that stuff. But if you just got your VCR, I have no idea how to hook it up. How are you going to watch this tape if you haven't hooked up your VCR yet? by using this tape to watch, I don't, I don't know. 
It's a blank tape, but it has a code on the side from maybe a rental store, but I don't know what it could be. And here's another blank tape. What's that sticker? Oh, it just says scotch. So this is another blank tape. Out for Blood with my boy Don the Dragon Wilson. Never been disappointed with his movies. They're always entertaining. One million years BC. I remember seeing this at a younger age, like eight or nine or something, and being in love with this lady right here. So I don't know what I'm gonna remember about this movie, but Flight of the Navigator on the slip sleeve. This was one of my favorite childhood movies, and I don't know if I have it on the slip sleeve or not. I think this is more rare than the clamshell one that's out there. Ten left. The Fall of the Roman Empire. It's three hours, and I've seen... I'm a big fan of Ancient Rome and all that stuff, and I've seen several of those movies. But I've never seen or even heard of this one. I watched it. There's a lot of extras, so that's pretty cool. Some sets are cool, but it's just really boring. It's like there's a lot of drama stories and stuff going on if you didn't watch this you could pass on it polaroid super color uh spoiler alert it is a blank tape this is a newer sony blank tape and it is blank wow maybe recorded off the tv the faces of foley i like all the wwe wwf tapes that are older this is 1998 when we were in the prime of watching the attitude era and i don't think i've ever seen this so robbery that's a pretty cool cover. I'm assuming that there's a robbery that's happening. Never heard of it, but the cover is uh, selling me on this movie. This one is, it's got some random stuff. It says Apology, and then it says Tyson and Sphinx, and then Heartbreak Rude, maybe? Or Heartbreak something. Four left. We got a green one. Whoops. Alfred Hitchcock Hour, Long Silence. I'm a big fan of Alfred. My first, or my first, my favorite movie of his, and my favorite movie ever is Vertigo. Next up, we have a blank tape. Second to last, we have a blank tape. What's on there? We don't know yet. And then the very last tape of the video is another blank mystery tape. Well, that's it, but there is one secret I didn't tell you about, and it is that I kept more tapes. There were like 35 Warner Brother clamshells in there that I just couldn't, I had to keep them. So now I have them on a big shelf in the living room, and most of them I never really heard of, so I didn't really want to go over them. But maybe one day we'll do a Warner Brothers clamshell haul video or something if there's interest in that. So. That's it. Thanks for checking out my video and this crazy haul. It was all free. 848 tapes or whatever it was I said earlier. And I'm keeping 67 of them plus the Wonder Brothers. So I think there were 30, like 100 tapes, something like that for now. Be sure to check out my other series, Orion Moses, where I beat Battletoads on as many CRTs as possible to give them the ultimate honor that they've deserved their whole life. Honor and respect. And remember, like Indiana Holmes always says, keep up the grind, and you'll get a rare find.